all right yo what's good everybody on youtube welcome back to another video a couple of y'all or maybe it's just one dude but y'all are persistent on asking for a futuristic style glow tutorial if you don't know what futuristic is or you never heard of the sound here's a little backstory so futuristic started way back in the day you know back in my day because i'm unk i'm really 37 but the sound itself really came from two producers and that's casey the beat monster and dj plug these two producers were mainly the pioneers of this futuristic glow sound these style the beats were really popularized by artists like Speaker Knockers and Chief Keef, of course. And I know you heard Lil Uzi on these style of beats as well. So today I'm gonna be putting y'all on how to make these beats, the sounds you need for these beats, and everything else in between. Instead of a breakdown style tutorial, I'm gonna be making this beat from scratch. I'd rather show you guys how to make these style of beats than tell you. So yeah, we're gonna be jumping into that soon. But real quick, are you trying to improve on your glow melodies? Your glow melodies not sound as full as you want them to. Or are you just lacking the sounds that you need to be making the melodies that you know you can make? But both of these problems can easily be fixed with the great white one-shot kit. This kit comes with over 50 quality one-shots, over 40 melody midi, 30 plus industry quality melodies, over 20 phrases, and over 20 starters for instant inspiration. This kit will supply you with everything you need to make your best glow melodies. So choice is yours. Either you click the great white link in the description, have all the sauce you need to make these style of melodies, or you can keep using that octa brass and all your glow beats. All right, so with all that out the way, just make sure you crank the boost knob on the like button. And yeah, let's jump into the video. But these beats is nice because you can really just keep the tempo at 140 and keep it moving. Y'all should already know I'm gonna go to Great White and get everything I possibly might need to make these style of beats. And yeah, we just gonna speed run this and keep it pushing, you feel me? I don't really like to bring my, what you call it, release knob all the way back. I like to leave a little tail there here. For the key, I like to stick around the C, C sharp, and even the B range. I don't really move too much further. Or sometimes you can get away with going in the E range. It just doesn't matter. And so the basic progression is. And that's pretty much the whole chord progression. You, it's really these bottom notes. You go here and then down four and then up two. That's really the sauce, really. And then anything else, you're just playing with that variation, with rhythm, progression, different notes here and there. And that's the basics of the futuristic sound. Let's go with the Hollow Supermassive. That's perfect. I'm gonna grab a um pad also from Great White and I'm gonna copy this pattern into the pad and then see what that sounds like. Have my ADSR knob up here. And then really let this lag over here, especially for one shot pads, it gives it a nice effect. Don't even hit the stretch knob. That's nice. So I'm gonna layer that up one. The matrix. There we go. And for low end hits like this, just follow the melody bass line that you did with the melody.
Let's go ahead and leave. See what it sounds like. Ooh, hold on. Put a base behind this. Oh, a Davy Jones locker. I don't know why I named it that. Same thing with the base, just follow the melody bass line notes. I'm actually going to change the, uh, what you call it, a little bit. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. Get that little stab. Now let's go into Nexus 4. Nexus is a good VST for these type of uh, beats. If you're OG, you really know Nexus 2 was like the sauce for this. Bro. Nexus 4 is good, but it's not as, you know, it's not as good as it could be. Bro. That's hard. Let's give it a little bit more emotion for Matrix. So let's try some different pitches. So since I'm on C sharp minor, I'm gonna go down two, see what it sounds like on B. That's hard. Let's try E out. E is three from up from E. I mean from C. I don't know which one I like better, bro. What does C sound like? Sometimes C is perfect. See what I'm talking about, bro? Honestly, this kind of hard. It make it sound more sing-songy. Alright, so I'm gonna arrange this. Y'all already know, head on over to Pastor Shark. He gonna give you the good word, and then we gonna meet back here. Oh. All right, so what's good, y'all? Welcome back to some more good word. Today, we're going to turn to Hard Words, chapter 4, verse 13, and it says this. KRKs one shall faithfully use, but the use of Yamahas shall leave you confused. Amen. All right, so we got everything, you know, all arranged and all that. For the drums, I'm actually going to use a combination of my previous drum kit, Secret Stash V3, 
because it has more futuristic style drums in it. But I'm also gonna be using my underwater drum kit, which is a totally free kit. Even comes with a great white one shot kit demo. You get a little demo of the one shots that come in the kit. Um, it's actually really fire. People have been loving that demo actually. And by the way, all these kits are gonna be in the link in the description. Oh, and by the time you're watching this, great white is out. So you can copy or you cannot. That's you, I'm just saying. I actually wanna turn this up a little bit. Like it's almost too nursery rhyme so I wanna give it some energy. Not too much though. Still want to keep that like, you know what I'm saying to it. I don't want it to be too fast because I want it to. There we go. I'm bringing down one, two. Got the futuristic 808. It even looked futuristic, bro. It's got all that wave to it, bro. This 808 be smacking, too. I'm just gonna follow the melody bass line. That's perfect. Add an open hat just to make the 808 hit a little bit harder. All right, y'all, so that's how you make those crazy futuristic low beats. The sounds that I use in this beat will be in the link in the description. That's all I got for y'all today. Hope y'all having a good night, day, or wherever y'all at. But if you wanna learn how to make crazy beats for Almighty Soul 2 with only stock plugins, click this video right here. If you wanna see another tutorial video on these style of beats, click this video right here. All right, y'all be easy.